establish a relationship with the directors even though they come and go. My favorite scenes and episodes are with really great, you know, really featured directors. My experience has always been one where people have really pushed me. You follow your gut a lot, your instincts, you take chances, you try things. The more variety you can do, the better off you'll be. One thing I love about TV is that everybody, it seems they challenge you. You know, I mean, you're not a cog in the wheel, but you're part of a, like all these, the writers are amazing, the set designers, the DP, obviously the creators, and they challenge you every day. They're at top, well, at least the shows I've worked on, just top-notch people. And my experience has always been one where people have really pushed me. And, you know, when you think about, you know, after, you know, the, sh the show is set and everything like that, but every show, it's like you're you're cutting it in such a way that is determined by the you know the, the obviously the writer and the creator but also the actors. I'm mad at you, Dad. Hey, dummy! I'm mad at you too. Why you gotta act out that way? Uh, that's not exactly what I had. Cause you left me, Dad. I was young and confused, and moms didn't want me around no more. A lot of people will ask, how do you cut for comedy? But there's so many things in the material that's telling you, like actors telling you where you should cut, the director, the way they're shooting it is telling you where to cut. Or, like I said, the person who has written the script, it's so many clues as to how you should cut the show and what the show is all about. So you're constantly having, surrounded by people that really know what they're doing. I'll get a scene with Alec Baldwin, who is all about timing, and he'll be, you know, he just comes into a scene knowing the timing of the scene. You're always gonna be my son. Tracy, just because I stopped loving your dad doesn't mean we stopped loving you. Stop putting words in my mouth, woman. Oye, papi, callate. People are sleeping. Mind your own damn business, Mrs. Rodriguez. Uh, all right, this is ridiculous. Lady. And you, you'll take hints from him, the way he's playing it, the way he's, you know, saying his lines. And then you reread the script a lot, because the script will also tell you. And then, of course, at some point, whether it's a director or a producer, they're coming into your room, also determining what, what the rhythm of the scene is. But it is most of it is intuitive. Don't know. The fourth season of The Wire was so amazing because all those kids really were just great actors, um, especially the, what were there, four of them that were kind of, they were just amazing. Hey. Gentlemen, oh my oh. God. Oh. Oh. Yo. Oh. Yo. Oh. 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 You are crazy. Kids, when they talk to one another, they don't, they interrupt each other a lot. They're talking over each other. So I remember Kate saying to me, you know, just make sure that like, you know, because there's none of this like, I say something, you respond, I say something. It's like there, there's all these at once. And that, I think that sh scene really showed it, like where it just gets a little bit chaotic, but everybody's heard and everything like that. Man, you simple, I swear. Hey, yo, Donut, draw me away from these ignorant bitches, man. You can't tell these niggas nothing. Move, motherfucker. <laughs> I, I guess I really feel like there's a lot of, or you feel a lot of pressure as an editor because the buck stops there. It's like, so often you feel a lot of the weight on you as far as, you know, if you can't cut this, then it's something wrong with you and you feel insecure because Everything to this moment has led up to what you can cut together in terms of shooting it and writing it and acting it. But um, there's something knowing that that insecurity, that feeling that you're like, oh my God, I'm not going to make it or I can't do it, that every editor always feels <laughs> and you never get rid of it. And, <laughs> and yet there's something soothing knowing that, like that, that, that notion that you don't ever have it all figured out, that you're always learning, but knowing that every other editor feels this way, because I've talked to a lot of editors, and they always have that fear that like somebody's going to find them out that they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> and there's something about knowing that every editor feels that way, it, it makes it okay.